Hey, good morning, church. I pray all is well with you this uh, Friday morning as we begin to study God's Word. Uh, but before we dive into Psalms chapter 140, I just want to make a comment about um, what Brother Ron talked about yesterday and uh, that um, scripture and the, uh, what the Supreme Court has taken up as it relates to abortion. Uh, what he talked about yesterday, it certainly is uh, truth of God's Word saying that uh, life begins at conception. Uh, God is the giver of life. Uh, and I truly believe that anybody that takes a life of a child, including inside the womb, that it is murder. And so uh, we as a church really do need to be praying that the Supreme Court uh, will heed the direction of God uh, as they decide on this case. So please be praying about that. All right, now let's dive into Psalms chapter 140. Now I'm going to start with an old saying that most of you have heard. Uh, Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Uh, I've heard that quoted, but I've also said that that is one of the biggest lies uh, that is out there. And I, I agree with that. Now, this, Psalms, uh, is a, this psalm is a psalm of David, and it's really a psalm of protection from slander uh, and threats that are made. Uh, in fact, he kind of relates it to war. Watch what it says here in verse number one. Uh, it says, Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. Verse 2 goes on to say, Who plan evil things in their hearts and continually gather together for war. So you think that they're talking about war. But look what happens in verse number 3. They sharpen their tongues like a serpent. The poison of asp is under their lips. See, it's talking about we, whenever people attack us and they attack us with our tongue. And he's saying, I want you to protect me. And he says, deliver me, Lord, from these people that are attacking me. And they're attacking with the words that come out of their mouths. And that's the theme that you get uh, throughout um, this psalm. You'll also notice in verse number six, it says, I said to the Lord, you are my God. Hear the voice of my supplication, O Lord. And then he says, O God, the Lord of my the Lord, O God the Lord, the strength of my salvation. You see, it he says that even when I'm in these battles, when people are attacking me uh, with the words that they say, my trust is in the Lord. My strength is in the Lord. And it's the Lord that is going to grant me the strengths and hear my supplications. You'll notice also down uh, in in verse number twelve, there's there's another special kind of twist that it takes. And it says this, I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted. And see this, and the justice for the poor. Folks, it doesn't matter how much money you have or how much money you don't have. God is there to help and to support his children uh, through, the, through the battles that we endure. Now, I've underlined what it is said here in verse number 13. Because watch what number 13 says. Surely the righteous shall give thanks thanks to your name. Even with all this going around, even with the slander and the attacks that are coming, we will give thanks. The upright shall dwell in your presence. So we give thanks and we dwell in his presence. What a great uh, Psalms for us to remember. If you have anybody that is attacking you with their tongue, with the words that they are saying, and they can be vicious and it can hurt. Uh, and it can actually hurt more than a broken bone. Folks, remember that God protects you even uh, in those times when people are attacking with their tongue. Anyway, uh, look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Uh, you the Lord willing, and you have a great day.